He's Governor Eddie Calvo's point man on the military buildup, but he wasn't here for the Joint Guam Program Office's recent public meetings on the draft Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement on the Marines' relocation from Okinawa to Guam. According to Guam Buildup Office Director Mark Calvo, although he wasn't present, it doesn't mean that he wasn't fully engaged with discussions involving the military buildup. Calvo recently returned from a trip to Hawaii and California. To discuss with the federal government and DOD and other stakeholders how we go about uh, designing and engineering and constructing infrastructure facilities that were appropriated uh, the tune of $119 million for wastewater and a Center for Disease Control lab. Calvo says those monies are in the queue and ready to be spent once plans are finalized. We want to capitalize because thank, thank God for us that they were approved in advance of the final study and in advance of a record of decision. And they are to address ultimately impacts on the buildup. So it's money that is good. Out of the 119 million, 106 million will be used for wastewater infrastructure outside the fence. Consolidated Commission on Utilities Chairperson Simon Sanchez was with Calvo for the meetings in Hawaii. It's a smaller buildup having a smaller impact. They have expressed some interest in helping us with the northern wastewater treatment plant. This is a good thing for ratepayers because if, if it materializes, uh, we know we're going to be required to go to secondary treatment. As for the remaining $13 million, it will be used to construct the Center for Disease Control Lab. Calvo says he met with Region 9 in California, as well as representatives from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, CDC, and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The discussions included everything from the naming of this lab, whether it's going to be considered a regional lab, which we hope to help. To, to build and, and get consensus from our Micronesian uh, governments around us. And, and, and then discussions that included operations and maintenance of this very technical manned lab in the years out beyond construction. Bottom line, although he was not present for the meetings, he assures the community he is committed to ensure the buildup is good for Guam. It sets us up and the administration and the people of Guam up for again reassuring Congress that this, that we take this build up seriously and that our concerns for funding for infrastructure are not just a dream list, that there are impacts and we want to address the impacts very deliberately with the spending of this money.